Have you ever wondered why there are so many videos on YouTube about the banger camera? Well, in this video I'm gonna reveal why the Sony ZV-10 is a huge hit with content creators, tell you about the main features that still makes it a great option for YouTube videos in 2024, and I'll also give you the answer if you should buy one or save your money for something else. The Sony ZV-10 came out almost three years ago, so it's old, right? Well, maybe it's old already, but don't let that put you off. If we search for the camera on YouTube, we can immediately see that content creators are putting new videos up about the camera all the time. So am I. Which you've probably noticed since you're watching this video. Did you know that this camera is and has been the most sold camera on Amazon? After countless hours of using the camera, looking at other content creators' videos about it for the past two years, there's one big conclusion to make why this has been a hit amongst content creators. And that's... By the way, I'm Tommy ML and I've been posting videos on YouTube on different channels for about 18 years. At the time of shooting this video, the camera costs 600 US dollars on Amazon. Is that a lot of money? Uh, in my opinion, yes. yes. But when it comes to cameras, there hasn't been a lot of competition in the same price range as the ZV-E10, especially in cameras that packs a feature set that most likely is everything you ever need for your YouTube videos. So for a great camera, this one is actually not so much money. There are three main features that makes this a great option for you in 2024 and beyond. There's a saying that the lens is actually the most important thing in your camera. The lens dictates what kind of videos or photos you can get quality-wise. So it's great that the ZV-E10 has interchangeable lenses. And the selection available is actually huge. So you can choose the perfect lens for you and your situation today and in the future. Most viewers are watching YouTube on their phone. So you might think that the video quality is not that big of a deal. That's partially true. But who really wants to watch blurry, low quality videos that looks like they're from the 70s? And not a lot of people nowadays. That's why it's great that the ZV-E10 shoots 4K videos, so the image is crisp and detailed and up to the standards, as this will future-proof the camera even more. The camera has so much great little features, that it's impossible to only choose one of them to be the third main feature that makes this camera great for YouTube in 2024 and beyond. So here are some great ones, like fully articulated screen so you can see yourself while filming. Sony is also known for its great autofocus and eye tracking feature, so you're never out of focus in your shot. TV 10 is probably the best web camera on the market since there is a webcam mode with USB cable connection and because of this connection, your computer recognizes it automatically as a webcam. You can also save big bucks without the need to buy expensive extra gear like heavy duty tripods since this is a lightweight camera, so it works great on cheaper stands. But the camera has some issues too. Actually, I haven't noticed there to be any major problems with the type of content that I shoot, but after researching other reviewers, I found out that if you're doing vlogging kind of content, the image stabilization doesn't seem to be that good, but there are fixes you can do to it after you have shot your video. Maybe the biggest lack of feature in the camera is related to video editing. There are not that much that can be done color grading wise without losing too much of video quality thanks to the camera only recording 8-bit colors and not 10-bit colors like more expensive cameras do nowadays. In my opinion, the good things about the camera outweighs the bad things. Remember when I told you that the Sony zv 10 is almost 3 years old? So it's old, right? When a product is released, companies estimate or give a lifespan for them. A good example is Apple. They bring new upgraded versions of their phones and computers every year. This is because they want you believe that you need to have the latest option, otherwise you will miss out on something spectacular. Sony, on the other hand, is rumored to bring out the new version of the Sony ZV-E10 this year, a staggering three years from the release of the original. If that doesn't tell you about the quality of the ZV-E10, I don't know what does. There are no real information yet on the internet about the new camera, what features it will have, how much it will cost and so on. There are of course other camera brands on the market, but the Sony ZV-10 has been the most sold camera on Amazon for a reason. It is great value for money. So at this point, if you're in a market for a new camera, just go with the current version of the Sony ZV-10 you won't be disappointed. I also told you that the lens is the most important thing in the camera, and I know you're already wondering what lens to choose, so go and check out this video so you know what lens to get for your Sony ZV-10 to make great looking YouTube videos.